So whenever you're creating headlines, uh, instead of always thinking about the main benefit that the person is going to get, for example, we're talking about headlines uh, writing for a product that you sell about fitness, you know, you don't want to just say, you know, lose 10 pounds and feel incredible because that's not, it's not going to hit the person emotionally when they read the headline. You want to design the headline so it's an emotional benefit. It's really fixing or really moving them into what they really want. For example, if you're a business owner, it's great that somebody's going to tell you, you know, this product can help you increase your revenue by 200%. Amazing, right? But what is that really going to do for you? Are you going to be able to be more productive? Are you going to save time? You know, do less work and gain more? What is it really going to do? Is it going to allow you to be free and be able to go spend with your family a lot more? As opposed to just overworking. And that's really going to hit them emotionally. You know, somebody can decide between two products. One that just tells you, you know, this product will double your revenue. And this other one will re double your revenue as well. But it, it also tells you, so you can spend less time working and more time with your family. Which one are you going to take? Obviously, the one that's offering you the value of something that we want. In this case, spending more time with your family. With fitness, you know, it could be a girl. You know, instead of just saying, you know, drop 10 pounds of fat, say drop 10 pounds of fat and fit into your sexy black dress. Something simple. If it's a dude, you know, gain 10 pounds of muscle. Don't just say that. Say, gain 10 pounds of muscle and go to the beach and break necks. Something exaggerated, but at the same time realistic. Something that's going to make a picture in their mind as opposed to just a simple, generic, corporate bullshit statement. We will hurt them and they really don't get you excited. It has to be a really big, deep, emotional reason. Might be a guy, might be one of... Maybe he wants to lose weight because he's too shy. He hates himself. So it might be, you know, lose 30 pounds and gain the confidence to walk out confidently and talk to people again. And this a benefit, you know, it, it, it varies by niche in your market. But you got to understand who your market is. You got to understand their problems. And they're really deep emotional problems. So you can really target them. They're, good. they're out there. They're out there. I mean, they might not tell you that they're suffering with something so personal like that, like personal shyness, that to the point where you, they can't even talk to people. But they're there. So just be aware of that next time you're uh, making headlines for products or for your own blog post or whatnot. Don't just write, you know, what's the benefit, but also add what's going to be the emotional impulse for them to take action onto what you have to say. That is how you're going to grab their attention, and then it's just up to you to write a good uh, sales letter, blog post, deliver your call to action, you know, get them excited, make them like you and trust you. So, you know what to do. Hopefully you found this helpful, and yeah, just be more benefit-driven. Subscribe to the channel and get more badass tips, hacks, and lifestyle intermarketing tips from this guy right here. Peace.